Okay, I got this big spanner. Uh, it still wasn't big enough, so we had to cut, I had to cut an extra groove in the movable piece to make it go large enough. So what I'll probably do is get the engine spinning like that, and then quickly just pull the spanner up the other way, and hopefully that'll that'll loosen it. But to do that, I'm gonna have to put the piston back in its bore so that I'm not worried about that hitting its the um like hitting hitting around hitting around there. And because I'm going to get new piston rings for it anyway, I just took them out. So they're the two compression rings. And the third had two compression rings. One, two. And in this third groove here, had really it had a really weird ring I've never seen. It's like it's in four different parts. And they were and they're all like next I don't know, I've never seen it before. It's really weird. A quick way to see how worn your rings are is you get the compression ring and you put it in the bore and you see what the end gap is. That end gap should be less than a millimeter, probably less than half a millimeter even. The gap that was when I put them on my um, old diesel engine, because I got, I got new rings for that, I put the old rings in the bore and the gap was probably about eight millimeters, even maybe ten millimeters, so it had no compression at all. So I'll, I'll put that in and just show you how, what the gap is. Okay, I put it in, and you can see that that gap there was probably about three or four millimeters, maybe. Um, it should be less than that. So those rings are pretty badly worn. So I'll get, I'm going to get new rings for it as well. But I'll put that, I'll put the ball back on, and then I'll try and get that nut off on here. I've given up on the idea of getting this nut off. It's too hard. So what I'm going to do is I put the piston back in there with a bit of oil, so now it can slide up and down without. Because there are little bits of, um, I'm not sure what were in there, but I got those out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything to do with the injection back on, which should be all the governor, and I'll take the injector out of the head, and so I'll see if I can get the injector to work. I'm going to take the injector pump apart now. What I'll do is I'll undo that first, that one there first, which will, hop, which will take this out. This is the fuel intake, and that's like a return line. And then I'll take this top one out, which would go to the injector. And then I'd have to take this thing, this one out here, which would probably hold something on in there. So we'll see. I've just undone this piece here. This is where the injector line went to the injector on the engine, and this is what screwed into the, in into the injector here the injector pump. So underneath there's a big spring. Let's take that out. And then under that there is I think it's like a little piece it's called, sort of got a cross cross section. I think that's called the delivery nozzle. And that went down in that hole there. You can see there's still even a bit of diesel there. Which would probably be pretty old. So I'll put this over here. And I don't know if there's anything else in there that'll come out. I'll blow I'll blow that out with the air compressor and, and see if there's anything else. Okay, there's nothing else in there. So I flipped it around in the vise, and you can see there's a screw here. Just there. I'll undo that. And I undid the screw and it didn't really do anything. But I flipped it up, and you can see that there's like a circlip around there. So I'll try and get that out now. I think what I've got to do is spin, spin it around. There's the gap there spin it around so the gap's over here and then I can sort of just lever it out. I didn't need to spin it around, I just sort of levered it out carefully. And now I'll, this thing here should come out. I might have to flip the engine up the other way to get it out. Flip the injector pump. Okay, I undid it and I t got this out. There's a spring there. And there's this piece here. Which it's kind of hard to see, but that's all the inside inject. I won't really. I'll, I'll just soak it in a bit of petrol and clean it, and then put it back together. Okay, I've got them in this bucket of petrol. Um, I've heard when you assemble the injector pump, you're actually meant to do it under diesel, like submerged in diesel, so that it sort of pre-primes it. But I didn't do that with my other diesel engine, so I, I'm not going to do it with this one. I don't really have a bucket big enough as well. What I've done is I've put the injector pump back on and the fuel filter and I've filled the bowl with fuel and what I'll do is I'll just 
blow into that tube there, which is where the fuel come in, until I see fuel come up here, and then I'll, and then I'll know that this is all full of fuel, and then I'll start cranking it around. So I'll just blow in here. Okay, I, I could see fuel going up that tube, so now there's fuel in here. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll start cranking it around. And you can see that that fuel's coming out there. So now that I know the injector pump is working. Now I'll put now I'll take the injector out of here and and take that apart and clean that up. Okay, I got the injector out. That's the injector there. See up there there's a tiny little dot in the end and that's called the pintle and that's what makes the fuel into a very fine mist and this is just cooling for it so that's just cooling for the injector so what I'll do is I'll put that in the vise and undo this and may I don't know if I'll undo that, maybe I'll undo that just to clean it out I took this cap off the end and that's what's underneath, it's like a it's like, it's like a screw with a nut on the top, I think that's probably just like an adjuster so I won't touch that yet because that, that's what it really looks like, an adjustment I'll undo, down there there's a, so there's a spanner fitting, so I'll undo that. Okay, I got this part off. Now it's, it's hard to explain what happens, but the fuel comes in here, in over here, and see there's two holes? The fuel comes out that hole on that outside. It doesn't go out the middle hole. And then down there, there's a washer with a hole in it, which goes down to the pintle. And it's a hard concept to understand, but the fuel sort of push it. Uh, I'm not going to bother explaining; it's too hard. But yeah, so that hole in the middle goes to the return. I've taken this part here out of there, and this is what's called the pintle, and that's what creates the very fine mist of diesel in the engine. I've put the injector line on. But what we've got to do is bleed it up to that line. So I'll just crank it a few times until fuel starts coming out there. Up. Okay, there you go. You can see it's shooting out there. Look at that. Okay. Now I know fuel's up there. Now I'll put the injector on. Okay, now I've got the injector on. What I'll do is I'll crank it around and hopefully you'll be able to see the fuel spray out in a, in a mist. It'll have to go around a couple of times before fuel starts spraying out. Oh, there you go. You can see that? And that's a good mist. That's very fine, that mist. That's really good. So now I'm very confident about this engine. They're the two main things which I was worried about because, um, because it's so old. But now that I've got those sorted, I should hopefully be able to get this going.